why playing sports is important and how it helps you build character. Now, one of my favorite questions in an interview is, have you played any sort of organized or professional sport? And the reason for that is, whenever there's a sport being played, whenever there's a team exchange, whenever there's a form of a competition, a lot of character is built. Even though there's only one champion or one winning team, everybody wins. And here's how. Next to me, great winners, Anna-Marie Meyer and Eddie Mahane. Sure. Let's give Thank these you. people some value. Yeah, great. Here are 10 key things that playing sports teaches us all. Number one, ladies first, team spirit. I think that is um, the reason why we've got sports. Um, not individual sports, but team sport gives you that motivation to get and to work towards the same goal. Mm. And people working in a team sport tend to do a lot better than individual sports stars. Not that I say they don't, but in a team, you, you work towards a common goal and that just sets a ground that you need to achieve. 100%. I think individually you've got your, you've got your advantages because an individual will be a superstar in sales. But if he's not a team player, he maybe can't lead a big team. That's where the, that's where the characteristics the come. The fact you fit into that team. Absolutely, because you're a bit of a loner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number two, leadership skills. Talking about leadership. So, so um, it, it's funny how the, the small activities every day can build a character that leads to your, to your success. So just being part of a team somewhere teaches you how to handle challenges together, how to motivate for growth, um, how to lead, obviously, um, be it playing soccer just, just to be a captain for one day. If you play for a team, there is a day that you, you will be selected as captain. There, there we go, right there. You will know how to lead people. You will know that it's all about understanding everybody that's in the team and um, being the synergist, making sure that you bring everybody together with one uh, shared goal, obviously. Absolutely, fully, fully agree. I'm gonna take the third one, which is fair play. Now, I believe you learn a lot more through your losses than your wins. You know, once you lose, if you have the, if you have the EQ to accept that I've been beaten, <clears throat> let's take a look how and why I've been beaten and analyze where your weaknesses are, where the areas are that the opponents took advantage. You can then grow from that. Same in a business environment. If you lose to a better competitor, rather than badmouthing them, I befriend them. I, I need to know everything about that person and how that person beats me so that it doesn't happen again. Obviously, you will clash again and, and it needs to be ethical. And we, we're gonna, it is what it is, we're gonna compete. But as long as it's ethical and the fair play you know, remains in the middle, then it's a true one rather than to cheat. Never give up mentally. Um, the fact that you're in a team, um, you've got people around you. So you tend to, if you lose space, they boost you to get, to, to get up. And that is one of the biggest things in a team that I like the most. There's always someone that's going to push you from behind, not to give up. And that's going to bring you to the end. You know, I, I, I touched on this um, during the week. So when did I realize this? The exercising in the morning. I thought to myself, okay, so if you set a goal, and the goal today is to do 15 or 20 kilometers, right? how your approach is to that session that you're doing that morning, it will get uh, challenging, it will get difficult, but that's an opportunity to train your mind to stay persistent and never give up. If you are to give up on something that small, you're most likely to do it in real life as well. As well. So, fully agree. Yeah, so it's a fully chance agree. to learn to be stronger and yeah, stay persistent. Fully agree. Playing competitive sports, organized sports, gives you perspective and grit. Yeah. Um, so the, the, the good part is sports in itself is challenging. Right? Absolutely. Um, so that, that leads you. At least if you want to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that leaves you no choice, but you, you, you have to figure out how to get to the championship. Now, how are you going to do that? 
you will play with different teams, meaning you meet more people than you've ever known, right? Every day, you will learn a different approach. If it's in soccer, and you always thought playing 4-4-2 is the way to win a match, you're most likely to sit with the coach or a player that tells you, no, we play 5-2-3, and this is the approach, this is a goal. Obviously, any piece of information that's valuable that you're learning will grow you somehow. And who else doesn't want, to, who, who out there doesn't want to learn something new? If you know that it's this bits and bits of information that you're learning every day that brings you to your next, uh, to your next um, goal, I mean, you'll be, you'll be looking for a trade every day. Just being out there, um, I, I played in Hatfield. When, before I started, after work, I thought it's just... Hatfield, like, Hatfield Shepherd? No, no, no. We, we played the Pfeiffer side soccer there. Okay. So first because day I, I played there. against Hatfield Shepherd. Uh, yes. Yeah, that, that was... Uh, I remember that was it must have been 10, 10 years ago. Yeah, probably longer. I haven't heard of them in a while. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, you're giving away your age. Yeah, yeah. longer. I'm 23. Yeah. We but played I five sides there. I, 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 thought, I thought it's just soccer. But I met guys there and I learned quite a lot from the three hours that I spent in the field. I thought it's just soccer, but I learned a lot. Yeah, from absolutely. Yeah. Another thing that sport teaches you is focus. So it teaches you to be present. The current matters, the past doesn't matter, we can't change that. And the future, who knows? You know, the future, we'll see when we get there. But it teaches you to be being present. Alive. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're playing soccer and you're being present, I used to be a right wing. Believe it or not, I used to be very fast. Very fast. I'm still okay now. You're still fast. <laughs> but it teaches you to be present. Because when that ball gets kicked down, it's me against my colleague here next to next to me, I have to beat him. So I, whatever I was thinking about is irrelevant. It teaches you focus. You yeah. need to be present now. Strengths and abilities. I think um, it teaches you about your own strengths and abilities Absolutely. and not your opponent. Because you need to know yourself. And for me, that is more favorable. Um, the fact that the moment you're in a team set up, that you can teach people how to work on your own. Yeah. And stop worrying, because if you're going to keep on worrying about the others, you're never going to get on top. Absolutely. So, 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 so what, what I like about um, this is the fact that the fact that sport is challenging, and the only thing that happens when you're being challenged is you develop a thick skin. Mm. So, so, so you you become more able to 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 take on challenges, and the more the more you're involved in sports, the more thick skin you grow and. I know many people can't even imagine that the, the little tactics and skills that you learn in sports actually do apply in real life. You Absolutely. can apply this in your work environment. You can apply this when dealing with pressure in any other field. In any mm, it's pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Process and result. Yeah. So you have to go through the process. You, you have to. You have to. So think about it this way. If, if you've been involved in sports for, say, take your first month, right? the results have been unfavorable. Now you need to sit and say, okay, why are we not winning? Why are we not getting the result that we're looking for? You need to look at yourself. This now invites, invites processes that needs to be set in place. And obviously because there is a result that ch that's, that's challenging you, you need to get to a favorable result. The chances of you not following your processes are zero because if you determine and you want to make it, you have to set processes in places and, and chase, the, chase the win. Again, I'll bring it back. Now you get into that attitude in sports and then you apply it in your life. The only outcome can be growth, nothing else. Absolutely. Fully agree. Fully agree. Which leaves us to the second last point, which is planning. During a competitive sport, you, you are very much reactive at the time, but proactive towards the future. So what does that mean? It means... As things are happening, let's say we are we're playing a soccer game, and um, you start you start pulling away. It's one zero, two zero. Mm. So now my four four two formation is no longer effective yeah. because I'm going to defend and play from the midfield forward. My my planning needs to change right now. Yeah. I'm going to push my midfielders to the to the front, and I'm just going to kick the ball high, and and, and hope for the best mm. because now we have to attack. We can't defend where you will potentially wow. go into a defensive mode because I've got the lead. Yeah. So the whole game changes. Same in the business world. You are sometimes on attack, 
mostly you're on attack, yeah. sometimes you're on defense, but you have to plan within the action. Quick decision making. Yes, absolutely. And lastly, observation and analysis. I mean, that ties hand in hand. Definitely. Um, it's the that observatory skill that you've got and the ability to do it. So you need to, to tend to work around a whole team. You need to, you must be able to observe around you. 100%. So going back to the introduction, why have you played any organized or professional sport is my favorite question in an interview. I want to know, can I challenge you? Can I push you? Are you coachable? Do you have a thick skin? And, and, and I love working with people that have played professional sports. And the ability to work with team members. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I hope this gives you value. I hope you enjoyed the time that you shared with us and I hope you have yourselves a beautiful day. If you do like the content and you feel someone else can also get the value, please like and share and, and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, please remember to ring the bell. Thank you very much. Take care and bye-bye.